All right, guys. Welcome to the uh, second motor vlog, and um, today is uh, 9/11, so I do want to take a second and pause uh, beginning of this video for all the all the family members, um, loved ones that um, that lost their lives that day. I remember I was in the third grade. This place class is exactly where I was, and we got called into the uh, lunchroom and. So take a few seconds and, and pause and remembrance for all those people. God bless everybody. Okay, so um, with that all being said, you guys um, take it easy on me. This is my first uh, vlog with the new GoPro Hero 9 along with the uh, Media Mod. So I'm not 100% sure how this is going to turn out but hopefully it, it turns out uh turns out pretty good now we currently have like 572 miles on the bike so i figured this would be a perfect time to do a 500 mile review on the 2022 honda grom um, as you can just see it is a beautiful day out here uh at the beach absolutely gorgeous day so i had to take advantage of that and plus you know we got college football on auburn is currently uh currently playing right now we're we're beating up on alabama state 20 0 but okay so let's get right into a few things so um i know my first 500 miles or you know 600 miles on the bike is going to look a lot different than um yours probably because you know right off the gate i did uh amazon exhaust i did the chimera intake i did the dhm um, tune and and a video that hasn't came out yet I also have the TST Industries uh, front turn signals I got the fender eliminator uh, in the garage just waiting to install that I also got the BL6 turn signals for the rear um, but with all that being said you know in the owner's manual and at the dealership they recommended uh, 600 miles first oil change and I really should have done mine a while ago being that I'm got all these extra mods and you know the bike's actually tuned so but with the, the oil is on its way big shout out to dhm motoring uh is sending out some uh, lucas oil along with a uh correct me if i'm wrong i believe it's a firepower uh oil filter so i'm kind of curious to see how this oil is going to look being tuned uh with the stuff that i have done to it with like you know 572 uh 72 miles on the bike um be, be kind of curious so right off the bat like i said i've never ridden a grom before but speaking and talking to other grom riders in the local area um, the seat uh, is definitely a step in the uh, right direction i think the seat feels absolutely amazing uh, it could be softer um, i've ridden for you know a couple hours before and my rear my bottom has hurt a little bit so uh, i do like i do like the fact that this seat does have uh, added comfort over the the uh, last generation uh, Grom and then another thing that's kind of that's kind of weird about this bike is sometimes the transmission man like when you're going down when you're downshifted from third to second or you know second to first something sometimes it randomly goes into neutral or sometimes whenever I upshift it randomly goes into neutral and I don't know I think that's wild um, yeah, and another thing, one thing, I know you can't get away from this. I absolutely hate these uh, antenna mirrors. I do have some bar end mirrors uh, ordered for the bike. But I mean, other than that, you know, the drivability of the bike is amazing. If you've never ridden any form of motorcycle, I think this is a great, great starter bike. Uh, the front brakes are very responsive. The back brakes are good. And, you know, I always use the rule of thumb 70-30 when it comes to using the brakes and I think the brakes are, are perfect for this bike put this guy across um yeah and like I said if you haven't ridden a bike in a long time I highly recommend you take the uh, Harley Davidson course and I will I must say the last 500 miles on this bike <laughs> have been nothing but pure 
happiness. And as you can see, we get 143 miles to the gallon. So the bike gets excellent gas mileage. Can't complain. I think we only got like a little, maybe a baby two gallon take. I don't even think it's actually two gallons, but um, overall, I'm, I'm extremely happy for the bike. You know, I've heard. I'm on a couple of different forums on how much people are paying out the door. It's no secret. I paid 4,300 bucks out the door. Uh, bought the bike in Mobile, Alabama. I've heard some people paying less, some people paying more, some people that have, you know, put deposits down on one that are still waiting on there. So I was just super fortunate. And it's funny because <clears throat> yellow wasn't my original first color. That, that wasn't my uh, that wasn't my first choice. And I let my you, my followers and subscribers pick. It was between black and yellow because I could get those uh, within the next five days of, of that going out. So we ended up getting yellow. I absolutely love the yellow. I will say the suspension feels a little, a little mushy. Uh, if that makes sense, it doesn't feel as planted as, as I would as I'd want it to be. But I have uh, a rear shock and then the, the front springs coming in the mail. Uh, they should be here at the end of October, if not a little bit uh, before that. Um, and another one, one of the other things uh, that I've noticed on these on this journey of you know 600 miles is these tires. I don't really particularly care for these tires. They are extremely loud. <coughs> um, I don't know, but like I said, they're comfortable to an extent. They're just probably not the best. So like I said. I'm going to get the Michelin uh, Power Peers, I believe they are. If you or anybody you know has the Power Peer tires, uh, have them comment on the video. I'm very curious to see how those tires ride. I know a lot of people, a lot of people use those. I just, I never had anybody personally use those tires. So <clears throat> I'd love to know how those work. So get rid of the tires, get rid of the mirrors, change out the turn signals, get rid of the reflectors on the front and rear. Eliminate the fender and man, this is a solid bike man. You could still be under all those mods Even the intake the exhaust TST industry goodies you still be under five thousand dollars So and everything is so incredibly cheap for this bike literally I think it costs two dollars to fill up with this bike ethanol free super cheap Exhaust Amazon exhaust 88 bucks. I have a link down in the description to that I have a link down in the description to DHM tuning and the Chimera intake um, one of the biggest things that woke this bike up would definitely have to be the fact that we got it tuned. Um, it just pulls, the RPM just continues to pull, 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 pull. That's probably one of the biggest things that I would tell somebody to do is to get the intake, get the exhaust, and then have DHM motoring um, tune the bike. This thing freaking pulls throughout the entire RPM range, and I, I'm going to be getting the uh, S1 cam from him one of these days. It's just just like everything else, production is behind, you know, for the lack of uh, goods and being able to get services done. Um, what else? I, I've done some night riding. I do appreciate the fact that Honda put a usable, reliable headlight on here. Uh, low beam throw is actually pretty nice. The high beam, when you turn the high beam on, the throw of the high beam is actually it's actually great. So this this headlight actually has a, a function. It actually works. Um, the foot pegs are nice. Um, yeah, everything about this bike is just pretty cool. I don't I don't really have too many negative things to say, but I will say if you're a six foot guy like me, 200 pound rider, I definitely recommend intake, exhaust, tune. And uh, like I said, I can hit 66, 67 on this bike, no problem, not even being tucked. Um, yeah, like I said, this bike is an extreme blast to drive. Um, let me know what other kind of content you'd like to see on this bike. Like I said, we have some TST uh, goodies. This video is going to come out um, after this, this video goes out. We have that, the fender eliminator, the rear... Um, rear turn signals the fender eliminator i i can't wait to do because that thing is going to look going to look freaking awesome um yeah i think tst makes some good oh <clears throat> i know i'm all over the place comment down below on some uh good 
good aftermarket seats that I could put on here without breaking the bank. And just to give you guys a little heads up, I have a YSS rear suspension coming along with the Hyper Pro rear suspension and front springs for the front. So I'm going to be comparing the YSS rear uh, suspension compared to the Hyper Pro. You know, keep in mind Hyper Pro is this shock's going to be built for a, you know, a six foot rider, anywhere from 150 to 200 pounds. Um, so I'm excited to see how the budget friendly suspension does compared to the Hyper Pro, you know, high performance um, suspension. Like I said, it is an absolute beautiful, beautiful day out here. And if you guys are enjoying these these riding vlogs and listening to me talk for however many minutes be sure to let me know down in the comment section and leave this video a like uh, i'm really enjoying filming grom content you know it got me out of having to make content with the type r don't get me wrong i love my type r but i just i wanted to switch it up and and do uh do something different and uh it's, it's been fun along the way Oh, I wish this traffic would go so we could open the bike up a little bit. But that's obviously not the case. So, uh, yeah. I'm excited college football has started. So, that's, that's freaking amazing. Um, let me know, when did you do your first oil change on your bike? And what oil did you did you use? I believe I got, mine's a Lucas, not full synthetic. Uh, oil and a firepower I'll like I said I'm gonna have a whole video on how to change the oil on the ground because just like many of you I don't know how to do it so I'm gonna teach myself and then I'm gonna show you all how to do it so you can maintain your bike by yourself oh I can feel sand coming off the tires of that truck and it's like pelting the leg here <laughs> If you made it this far in the video, I, uh, I definitely, definitely appreciate it. Let's turn in here and see if we can get some nice, nice views. Oh, it's sandy. These tires do not like sand at all. Oh yeah, what a nice, nice, nice view. intimidated by this sand to be honest with you let's go back over here real quick gotta get a thumbnail for of course see if we can't snag us a good little thumbnail alrighty that is gonna do it for today's video thank you guys for riding with me and uh, hope you guys have a great great Saturday and uh, thank you all so much for watching and if you're stopping into the channel for the first time, please hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, leave this video a, uh, a big thumbs up, and I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace.